Well, I'm going to begin a little engine service on my truck today. It's warmed up to maybe, I don't know how warm, but it's above 40, and I'm going to go outside and work, and I'm going to remove the injectors and send them off for testing and, and repair. I don't know everything about diesel engines, but I know this 3126 has a high pressure oil pump that drives the injectors. And they're electronic injectors. Here's the electrical connector here. And I'm going to pull off this cover, pull out the injectors, send them off for testing and repair. I'm guessing that this is going to be a difficult and dirty job, so I should enjoy it. I pulled the batteries out yesterday. I had them in the garage on a charger. Now I'm just going to go around and pull off those uh, cover bolts. So there's these injectors. Someone's been in there. Someone replaced. I'm sure whatever they did was wrong and I'll straighten that all out. So I'm looking for these oil drain plugs. I think it's that bolt right there. Right down there. Should be one on each end of the cylinder head. Dropping something down into that oil galley would really suck, so I stuffed the openings around this bolt with some rags just to give myself a better chance of success. This oil drain plug that was on the part of the head underneath the lip of this firewall was much more difficult because I couldn't directly see it. But I just took my time, I put rags all around in the oil galley so I wouldn't drop anything in there, loosened up the thing and, and drew it out with a magnet. It's important to get these out of here so that the oil can drain before you remove the injectors. Otherwise, the, all the oil will drain down in the injector and be down inside the cylinder. And when you go to crank it over, you can have a hydro lock and bend rods and stuff. So you have to pull these out and let the oil drain. So I popped my first injector out. It was the easiest one to get to right there in the front. I just pulled that clip loose and let this wire be right there. I didn't try to move it all around because those wires are kind of stiff. You know, they've been down in that hot oil for a long time. And you're supposed to have a special tool to reach in. You can't really get a pry bar in to, to pry this thing up. You're supposed to have a special tool to go underneath this metal plate right here. And pry it up. So I made my own special tool. It's just a piece of like maybe 3 16 flat bar. I made a little shape on the end of it there. I had bent it for some other purpose, but I made a little shape on the end of it there. That went right under there. Able to pry that up. Popped out pretty much. And then it needed to go a little bit further, so I just slid my pry bar over this way a little bit and pried it up the rest of the way. I have no idea what the special tool is supposed to look like, but there's my special tool. 
if I kind of inspect this first injector that I pulled out, look for damage to the O-rings at least. If I look right here by this metal spacer, I can see where the O-ring is kind of pushed into the space there. I don't know if that makes any difference or not. I just noticed it, that's all. I'm going to skip over this one and go on to this one because this one has a nut here instead of a cap screw. This hold down bolt is not even finger tight. Man, that thing could have gone right down the oil galley. <sighs> Gotta be more careful. Even though I'm very careful, oil runs down in there.
Well, so far I haven't broken anything or dropped anything down the oil galley, so I'll keep on moving. It'll take me a little bit of time to struggle with those last two that are kind of under the firewall. A little patience is in order, I guess. With my visual inspection, all I can see wrong with any of the injectors is the distortion at the O-ring where the gap is there. From what I read, that's a pretty standard affair. I saw one guy on YouTube had a different kind of metal ring there that had a overlapping edges. It seemed to be the solution to that problem. I don't know where to get those. What I think I'm going to do is I'm going to exchange these for six brand new injectors that have been tested and have new O-rings and all. My little homemade tool worked pretty good. I was able to, on the three injectors on the front side, slide that little groove underneath there. and There was room between the valves to bend that down and pop it out. Then on, when I got closer to the back units, I had to do it from the front side. And then I just slid the foot of my pry bar underneath that to give me something to pry on and pop those out. It worked out just fine.